Hello and uh, welcome back. Today I have a clamp multimeter. It is uh, from the brand uh, Owen and it is the CM2100B. There is also one without the B. This is with the B, so that means it has Bluetooth. But uh, all the other functions will be exactly the same. Interesting from this meter, it's not only AC but also in DC current meter. And there is a low amp setting which we're gonna test extra. I already put it on uh, when I pre-announced in my community tab on my on my main page. Uh, people ask, do the low current, do the low current. So we're gonna do that. But uh, first, have a closer look. So now we have the box. It comes in a carrying case. Always nice because the box at some point you will throw or will be ugly. This is probably for the application, so let's try that. AC, DC end comes with probes. Oh, uh -huh. yeah, again, I, I like that. It's semi soft, very nice. Nice probes, nice long. In an angle, not straight. And, oh. Uh, Feels kind of uh, rubbery. F feels strong. It yeah, actually feels good. Comes with a screwdriver. That is very nice to put the batteries. Let's do that. CM2100B, 100 amps. Some clamp meters go a lot higher than 100. But the uh, positive side of this is that there is a lower amp setting here. So we're going to test that. Uh, it has 20,000 counts, which is really a lot. Usually you will find them 6,000 even from the good brands. Uh, backlighting, hold button, zero button. Yeah, what else we have? It can do folds. Oh, nice and tight. It feels strong. Also kind of rubbery. Uh, 2 amp setting, 20 amp, 100 amp, non-contact voltage, ohms, diet, capacity even, frequency, and again off. It has two off settings. So if you use these things more, you can switch it off here. If you use this more, you can switch it off here. We also have two terminals in the bottom. This is, of course, for the voltage and the ohms. And with some clamps, this is also for the lower current. But here it is not. So apparently the clamp is very, very sensitive. Quick look at the specifications. 0.7% for DC voltage. For AC voltage, I think it's the same. 0 0.5 for resistance, 3% for capacity, and 0 0.1 for frequency. And for the Bluetooth app, if you have Android, you scan the QR. And if you have iPhone, you look for a one eye meter. Well, let's start with the voltage. It is uh, through RMS, so we can also check that. I have my DMM check plus here. That um, is exactly 5 volts on AC and DC. So I also have the Sigland 6.5, a lot of digits. So let's compare that. Let's switch it on. Let's see for the auto ranging. Puff is there. You see it's 5 volts. And this one thinks so too. Let's switch to AC. This should be 100 Hz. Yes, well, it is through RMS because you, usually if it is not, then you get 5.5 volts. It is a fractional low. Yes, this is uh, on 100 Hz. I can try to do on 10K, but maybe it is filtered out. So. It probably is. Yeah, it's now on 10k. This one reads the value, this one not, because it is, I think, up to 100k, this one. So, 
but that's normal for multimeters. Let's do some resistance. Take these out. I have here one percent resistors. Yeah. Start with one hundred k. That is one hundred k. Ten k. Wow! Look at those digits. <laughs> The 1k is usually spot, spot, spot on. Yeah, look at this. This is 1k. And 100 ohms, no problems there. I can do the caps also. Uh, probably select that and nanofarads, yes. Okay, let's start with. I think this is one. Yeah, well, this is 5%. It's usually with caps, and not even these are precise. So it could be also my test board. 10 nanos. One hundred. And then we go to one microfarad. OK, read the caps. Quite fast, actually. We can do a diode. Diode mode. 0 0.55 volt drop. Could be correct. This one. Well, let's see those uh, 20,000 counts, if it really can do that. Then I go to well, here it's almost full, one higher. Yeah, that's 20,000 counts. Look at this. Go a little bit higher. Switch this new range. It is quite fast. Let's do that again with the proper calibrator. My advantage here, operate one volt. Well, look at that, that is one, go to two. Well, we can see here, it agrees here. Well, this one, look at this, this is very, very close. We go a bit higher, 10 volts. And again, the 20 would be interesting. Well, it is a clamp multimeter, mostly used for current. So let's do that. I will do some uh, 1 to 5 amps or something. And then we go to the low currents, which actually is the most interesting. I've set it up, but it is not zero, so let me zero it first. It is in DC mode. Switch it on. We have here one amp, and here we have indeed one amp. Okay, I have now the red wire, but uh, <laughs> that was not a problem. Of course, if you put the wire the other way around, like this, then it will say minus. And uh, if you put it this way, then it will say plus. Let's put the relative again. Okay. Here we go. One amp. Two. Three. That takes a while to. Oh, of course, I'm in the two amp setting. Probably need to zero this one also. Okay. One. Two amps. Yeah, two amps is two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Oh, perfect. Let's see the lower currents.
let's try the same on the advantage we are on DC I need to zero it I have here 100 milliamps power it on yes and we have indeed almost 100 well, let's go lower okay I added also the cyclant here in series so we can keep an eye on the if it is good or not 100 milliamps and we can have here a look if it is correct well it's almost there how low can we go 90 yes 80 you can see it it takes a while and this one is quite fast but it still reads out properly 60, 50, 40, 40 milliamps, look at that, 20, now it reads a little bit too much, 10 milliamps, but you do get an idea, I think this is very good for a clamp, that you can do this low, low uh, yeah, this is not accurate enough anymore in this uh, four. Let's say up to a 30, it is sort of uh, accurate. Okay, that is not bad. 40, 30 milliamps, you will still have a, a reasonable readout on the clamp. And if other clamp multimeters will go lower, it is always with the probes. So this one does that only with the clamp, which is uh, pretty nice. I created a little setup with, uh, with the power supply. Here I can measure the current on AC. And here I have the clamp also in my primary. And when I put some load on the power supply, we should see. So if I put the two amps, AC mode, zero, put on the power supply, there will be some idle. We are here at 50 milliamps. And here it says 45. So if I put the output on, it jumps to 254. And this one is about the same. So AC current also works also about the same, probably 40, 50 milliamps. Yeah, on the higher currents, it starts to be better. We have now about one amp, 10, 7, 8. Well, here, yeah, look. Now they are almost the same. So uh, let's play a little bit with the app that comes with it because then you can actually do logging also. Okay, well installing the app was very simple. Let's put this one back to voltage. Um, I meter, then we need to push this one along, and then we should get a device. And I see more devices, but it is the BDM and the Bluetooth digital multimeter, I think. So let's connect. That's it already. That was fast. It updates quite fast. What if I say now uh, AC, it immediately changes here also to AC. And what if I need to put it in operate? One volt, puff, puff, puff. I think it's just at fast. I think it was about three, uh, three samples per second. Okay. And if I go up, poof, it is just as fast. That works fine. And you saw that it, connecting it was not uh, that problematic. And oh, 
look at that. I will uh, put the screen recorder and then we can uh, watch further on the screen here. Oh, it is still recording. We can actually see a little bit more history or a little bit less history. You can zoom in, zoom out. We can do the scale up, scale down. You can store it because, of course, you want to save it successfully. I'm not sure where it will save it, but it maybe we find somewhere an archive and then we can export it because it says now saved, but I don't know where. Uh, read file, we can read open file. Here I can see my old files. Can I? share it and then you can share it whatsapp or email or perfect okay makes sense settings what i can do interval auto save uh, meter itself is great i like it and uh, 20,000 count instead of the normal 6,000 that you get and uh, also the lower currents you can measure with a clamp and that is also it's sort of rare because usually they do that with uh, terminals and this is just with the clamp and i tried on the two amp and the lowest value you can properly uh, read is about uh, 40 to 50 milliamps you can go a bit lower than 50 40 and you see the values on the display but then you need to add five or six digits or more and then why well, it doesn't make too much sense to me so i would say 40 50 milliamps both on ac and dc we tested that so uh, there was the bluetooth version nice in the up you can see all the statistics um i think this one is around 60 70 euros uh, there is also one without then you are somewhere 40 50 uh, euros i think in the netherlands and uh, for what it can do, I think it's worth it. Thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you next time.